All right, we're getting a lot of viewer questions lately for brain drops, which I encourage greatly. Not just for trolling me, you can occasionally ask me questions <laughs> as well. That's why we're here. Beautiful yeah. clouds today. Can you tell me why many clouds look flat on the bottom? And Cake McParty, which I think is her real name, uh, asked me this. Okay, let's talk about what this is. This is the exact term, the meteorological term for it. Lifted condensation level, or LCL is defined as the height in which the relative humidity of an air parcel will reach 100% with respect to the liquid water when it's cooled by dry adiabatic lifting. I was uh, concerned about this word yes. here. Yeah. I don't know how okay. I would say that if I ever saw here's that for the what first time. It, here's what all of that means. Basically, when you heat the ground up, you've got these parcels of air that are warm and less dense than surrounding air. They start rising, okay? Let's go to our graph if we can. They start rising up. They'll keep rising and they'll cool. Adiabatic simply means a normal air parcel without any interaction around it. How will it cool as it rises? Okay, so that's what that stands for. And there's an exact number for how much you'll lose Celsius as it goes up. So as it cools, it gets easier and easier to get to 100% humidity. The reason for that is you're getting closer and closer to the dew point, right? Say the dew point's 70, and that air parcel is 85. Well, now it's 83, and now it's 80, and now it's 75, and when it gets to 70, it's 100% saturated, and that's where it can start to form a cloud. From there on out, cloud, 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 and then eventually you hit the top of the atmosphere. You can't raise that parcel anymore. That's the end of the cloud. So when you see this in the atmosphere, you see these very flat bottom clouds like this, right? It's very flat. That's where that LCL is. And then everything above that is just that air rising as it's condensing. And some days, it's a little bit cleaner than others as far as when the cloud bottoms are. But on a day like today, the reason you noticed it more is because the clouds are vertical. There's a lot of buoyancy in the air. So rather than just, you know, if you look up and it's totally cloudy, you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice it was flat necessarily, mm -hmm. right? But when it's flat and the rest of it's vertical, days like this, and you see it a lot in Florida almost every day. Do you think something like this would confuse flat earthers? Yes, I think the, f the word <laughs> flat confuses them in general. <laughs> do, uh, but does, does, this, does every cloud start flat and then kind of some st hold it and some morph yeah, into... Yeah, right, uh, based on the conditions. So on a stratus day when yeah. it's rainy, the cloud is flat here, but you just there's not as much depth to it. But, uh, and there can be days with different levels of clouds, but that's the basic premise for why it happens. Okay. Right, we got some we go. science. I just learned so much. I need to go decompress. Lifting.